Hello, episode two of Beyond Earth Rising Tide. Forget what it's called. So it looks like we're on an arid Atlantean planet. Whatever that is. So let's load it up and carry on. Let's turn two. Although precipitated by Pak's first successful expedition, General Kozlov was the first citizen of the Slavic Federation to step foot on Mars. He likened the experience to like the moon but more red. His year-long traversal of Olympic Mons remains a record-setting feat of endurance and effort, and it was his surveying of the Kowalski crater that allowed for the first Slavic Federation mining colony on Mars. It is with some pride that General Kozlov carries a Martian rock as a memento. Right. Artifact acquired. We saw that in the last episode. Okay. In that case, a unit needs orders. What's that? That is... He's got. He's built stuff already. I think I should send him down to here. Okay. Let's hope he doesn't get eaten by the fish things. Um... Yeah. A marvel discovered. Vessels from a neighbouring colony have discovered a living monolith emerging from the ocean. It resembles the hydrocoral seen in the planet, but a bulb of protrusions stems from its armoured base. Bright storms of electrical energy surge beneath its skin. While probing its outer membrane, startled witnesses observed the nearby hydrocoral shudder and twist. We don't know how, but these giant brains seem to be connected with the hydrocoral through some sort of sensory network. We should search for more specimens to study. Study them. Nought of one. Well, okay. Whatever. Just wondering, because this Egypt settled in my place, can I... Can I just declare war on it and get rid of it? Just, just wondering, or is that, like, not allowed? Gonna make another range unit. Don't have any here, do I? Oh, I do. I'll have two range units then. So that's fine. Just, just a thought. Uh, what's this? Explorer. Go and expedite. Uh, first ranger, right. What happens if I attack this guy? I don't know, but it seems worth a shot, don't you think? Because I wanted to settle there. I'm, I'm probably doing something which is absolutely outrageous. Should I send this boat around the world or should I send an explorer out? Well, the boat can carry on for a while, right? Okay, they get more science, so that if I allow that, they get ahead of me on science. Uh, fine, whatever. I'm going to have to figure out how to win eventually, but in pretty much all 4X games, you have to establish yourself a bit with a few cities or something. Surely good. Oh, I can start doing stuff here now, can I? I do first. I'll do a clinic because we're out of health. Right.
I can't shoot it, you see. I can. Well, I don't want to do it just yet. Let's get some more soldiers on, on hand. Because, honestly, I want to settle it. I don't know. No, same as same as the others. Whatever. At least I'm making some diplomatic capital. Whatever that's for, I'll make a load. Right. They obviously don't value it that much. A soldier. Uh, I'm staying alert. All right. All right, another ranger has turned up. Thank you. Pretty well developed. I don't know quite what I can do with that. I need I need some tech, don't I? Um, I've forgotten what it is I need. Let's go there and check. I don't know if there's a way to compare my progress with the other players, the AI players. So I've got genetics anyway, health, if I build pharma lab, cyto nursery, okay. Ah, oh, look at this display, it's just awful. Um, culture, harmony, capital, culture. Mm -hmm. Energy. Reveals geothermal. I mean, okay. Missile power, spy agency, network, drone cage, master control, Markov eclipse. What, 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 what? Submarine, lab, more science. I probably need to go that way. I could probably do with some more science. Okay. Given that the others, other players are after it. Exploring the progenitor ruins, several members of your expedition team were struck simultaneously with a powerful vision depicting the construction of a towering device larger than a city. The vision was so detailed that the expedition team was able to share some of its secrets with your people as a whole, granting a free level up in an affinity. Well, I have zero in all of them, right? Um... Harmony and Purity seem to have a little red line, 7 out of 10s. I'm going to go for Jolly Old Harmony for now. That's my dominant affinity. Okay. We'll do more with it. New upgrades are available for your units. Oh, he has, he's run out of expedition modules again, so head back home. Okay. So for this, I need... Alien Sciences. Oh, okay. There's not much I can do here. I'll 
don't see any value in developing that at the moment. I might as well go there and have a look, but I suspect it's not much use. Upgrade available to my units. Click on him. Plus 15 when attacking, plus 5 heal when not embarked. Except the upgrade, there we go. My patrol boat could also be upgraded. Plus 20% against naval melee units or against naval ranged units and submarine units. Let's go for anti ranged. Okay. Set it. Good. My expedition team salvaged the wreckage of a crash satellite. 80 production. <coughs> Worm killing. I traded my life for my leg when I met the great worm. Now, with all the fury and courage this cripple can bring to bear, I hunt, I hunt the earth drinker, I hunt the worm. Kill the siege worm. Why not? Explorer, no modules left. Head back home. Ah, there's one, I see. The new launch complex is far more advanced than any we built on Earth. Blah de blah de blah. Plus one orbital coverage. Plus ten percent production. I'll go for the production because I've been trading it away to these other sieves, haven't I? Let's cancel some of the penalty of that out. Head home, I'll be in. No, you can't. Well, head nearly home then. I realise I have a quest for that, but what do I want to do? Do I want to do it, really? Just at the moment? I'm building stuff, aren't I? Yeah. So if I build another city, my happiness or health or whatever is going to decline. So maybe I should do something else. So let's just move him here. Not quite so close to the road. Um... Build a farm, plus one food, plus two energy, well, I'll do that. Not impressed by plus ones, usually. <laughs> so are you able to strike the worm, my man? Minus one, out of how many?
Oh, a virtue, right. So I need one more horizontal virtue to get a free virtue. So this is in effect a free one, isn't it? If I go for that, 50% XP from combat, 10% science when healthy, oh, well, not at the moment, but still, 10% production towards buildings. I'll do that for the moment. So I, I now get a, another free virtue, right? In a second. Okay. There I can go for 10% science when healthy, okay. So great. So that thing has a strength of 69, my soldier's strength of 16, my ranged unit here can do one damage. It's a complete waste of time. Okay, we'll ignore it. I'm not going to waste any more time on that. until I have some better units, I suppose. Another decision. We brought a number of plants from old earth. So one has taken root outside um, and turn invasive. It could convert the local environment into a more earth-like ecosystem. Is that a good thing? Contain the outbreak continues. Oh uh, yeah. We should know what we're doing. I'm going to go for Harmony. Right. Put a Xeno Sanctuary. Okay. Build a farmer lab. Going to get that health up first before other things. Unit needs orders. Okay, expedition modules required. Is it even safe to? What's going on? Plenty of annoying sound effects. I'll send one expedition module up to this thing, okay. Okay, I found us some stuff, so... Free solar collector is ready for whatever that is. It's amazing. I can shoot them, I don't see a particular need to do so. That's ready in here, is it? Okay, or I can give the city a name now. Okay, well let's give it a name first, because Crabrost doesn't do anything for me. The previous one was Alpha, 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 Alpha Tukana City. Hang on, cancel this. What have we got here? Let's say these are the Dimple Hills, okay? So we'll call it
Dimpleton, okay. Accept. Brilliant. Um, ready to launch. Well, let's launch it then. Yeah, that's great, whatever it does. Go. What does an orbital unit do? We have our Civilopedia here, or whatever it is, Beyond Earthopedia. Inevitably, colonies on alien worlds will launch satellites to aid their survival, surveying, terraforming, communications and many other tasks. In Beyond Earth, several systems combine to recreate orbital mechanics, including the orbital layer, which is populated by orbital units. Well, yeah. Okay. I suppose I could look at orbital satellite or something, couldn't I? Um, Orbital units. Orbital units don't interact with one another. They deorbit. Defensive, defensive, and support capabilities. Each orbital unit has a different effect. Uh, for goodness sake. Give me the give me the details, right? Combat units. Unit upgrades. No. Well, I don't know. Plant a few up there and see what happens. Just got another one of these little town places. Okay. Somewhere. What's that? Dippleton. What do I want? I don't know. Let's build the Cyto Nursery. Bit of health, bit of science. Oh, there's a critter there too. I need to explore it, right. Well, that guy's there, but the, the other one's in the city, is he, or something? I oh, know, he, he's waiting to go in. Got his module back straight away. So, let's go and explore over here, if you, if you may. Could automate him, but I don't think I will. So they've got annoyed at me now. So I took a couple of pot shots at the, the worm. Um, so I found chemistry, so I have the submarine unit. Laboratory recycler, whatever they are, production, and reveals petrol. Okay. They might not like me sitting on their nest. Research. Alien sites. 34 though, I need to get some cheaper stuff first. Combat rover, thorium reactor, 
repair facility, titanium revealed. And possibly to boost my science some more. Oh, that's quite expensive though. Let's go for the cheap stuff first. I'll come around to that in a bit. Want the easy wins, right? Unless something turns out to be crucial, I mean, I don't know. Whoops. Well, wow, that's that. Plus one is no use to me, honestly. Because it take each citizen uses up two food. I did I did see that in my brief test play or replay because I've played it in the, in years past but not for such a long time. So putting two food there isn't that useful unless they're working it for the energy. Let's just up the energy. I have to study ten of them. Okay. Whatever it is. All active. They get two science from the orbitals, and I get three per turn. What if I go for some diplomacy? Can manage personality traits, I see. Yep. Maybe at some point. Uh, what agreements are available? Cobra Ops, Cobra Agents, Reserve Army units here fully when fortified in a city. Ugh. Culture for new virtues reduced by 10%. Cost me 25 per turn. These are too expensive. Plus three health from your capital. Well, nine per turn. Well, well, one plus eleven. I. It's too expensive. DNA division. As a result of their work. Um. Yeah. Plus five percent production of military units from cyber nurseries. Plus one production from Saito Nurseries. Production, please. The flavour text is okay, but it's a bit time consuming, really, isn't it? Let's just get on and play stuff. You can read it if you play the game yourself, I suppose. <laughs> um, well, I have a quest for a vivarium. So, I will do it now. Um, so, you have an exploration module. Maybe you'll just trundle over here and have a look then. More cities as well. Critters are a bit strong, really, aren't they? If I repair it, is this the one that did it in? I'm not being all that cautious at the moment. I want to see how it goes. Is 
It's because of aliens getting in the way. City connection has been broken between Dimpleton and Alpha Chicana. I didn't know there was one, but anyway. Looking good. It's repaired, so come back to the city and wait. Build a range unit, not build. What? Okay, oh, this is because of the vivarium, okay. Workers find it already filled with vanishers. In the night, it seems the local pack found their way into the building, gorged themselves, then fell asleep. Their cameras inside the facility show them nervously shuffling about the entrance. It would appear they are afraid of the sun. The beasts also seem to be quite docile. Bizarrely, the vats of processed meat inside the vivarium remain untouched. Every once in a while, individual vanishers are observed running their snouts over metal surfaces in the building. And we will learn more about these beasts someday. But for now, we must move them outside our city. So I need to build a ranger unit. Well, I know that anyway, because I'm out of soldiers. Or rangers and stuff. So I've built engineering and I can build some stuff. Okay, and it's revealed titanium. So, see, orbital unit production reduced, but I'll get some diplomatic capital from it. This has gone down. It's an indicator of how much strength you have in comparison to this civilization. Okay, and that's respect. Well, yeah, okay. I don't have much strength because my unit's been shot up by the aliens after I got conned into shooting the, the flipping worm. So let's build another ranger. Research, that's... I'm going to build computing. 29 turns, I don't know. We'll get there in the end. Build a mine, get me some production. And you... There really isn't anything for you to do up here. Sleep for a while, okay? I need to be settling some more cities, clearly. This one doesn't look like it's easily conquerable, given that I can't even shoot a worm up. What's the strength of my city? 33.8 mm. Exposition found horticulture Hooray! Oh, another object. That brings me 36 culture. 96 production. But what happens if I do three together? We'll wait and see. This fellow's looking a bit injured. Go in here and take a look. Ah, oh, I can develop a virtue now. Plus one energy from any, every basic resource. In the capital. Production towards wonders. Buildings which have already been built in the capital. Mm -hmm. 30 sites from, from finishing expeditions. That's quite good. Culture for every population. Science for every population, culture equal to 30% of health. This 
is more sort of combat-y type things. Could be useful. Explorer units can build three additional expeditions. That could be good as well. It's like, uh-oh, what do I do now then? I'll go for that for now. What's this? Um, yeah. Instead of having one expedition per explorer, I might have four. What have we here? Let's build an old earth relic then, I don't know. Vivarium. The Xenocyte cultures she's developed have unique reactions to tissue from earth organisms. They can be used to make earth alien hybrid organs. That's dangerous and unethical, right? Meddling bloody bloody blah. Plus one science, plus one food. Well, they're meant for food. I'm going to say plus one food. That's just my psychology working there. Right, okay. Go. Quest complete. Since the Vanishers were first captured, scientists have learned more about their odd habits. The meat laid out as bait inside the vivarium remained untouched, but nearly all interior metal was polished clean. Close analysis revealed something startling. Nearly all metal on this planet is covered in near microscopic insects, termite-like beings that slowly, slowly digest it layer by layer. Amazingly, the giant Vanisher beasts seem to be misunderstood bottom feeders. This discovery has been reinforced by the soldiers hired to move the beasts. When entering the vivarium, these giant aliens ran to the corners of the room. However, when hunks of scrap metal were thrown in its centre, they approached eagerly. Our rangers seem to have grown quite fond of these docile beasts, spelt wrong. Maybe one day they could even accompany them in the field. So I get some benefits, right. Trade routes can go through miasma. Um, with some purity or supremacy, I can cave out the benefits. Yeah. And there are some unit upgrades as well. Right, so what do I need before then? I need a laboratory. Upgrade my gunboat. I don't have a gunboat, do I? Maybe I do. Um, against land units, against sea units. There's a boat against sea units for now. The ranger. Heal when not embarked. Defending against ranger. Make your defences better because you've been crushed a couple of times. Right. And the gunner is what? It's going to be alert or fortified. It's not the same as alert, is it? Alert doesn't need to be available. So, okay. Petrol. I need? I have no idea. Science, I guess. Pharmaceuticals, bloody bloody blah. Science, health. I'll go for more health for the time being. Especially as pharma labs do health. 
so allegedly. Will be a mine. I don't have any way to trade. I think Combat Rover. Hmm. It's not very strong though. I'll build another explorer. If they can do four, that this will, that will multiply my exploration ability a lot. Hello! Um, that's it. Oh. I've discovered this place. Fantastic. And he's discovered that place. That's whose is that? Not mine. Oh, and he has three expedition modules, so you might as well go back there and dig that up. Did they just appear then? Yeah, same as usual, go on. Yep, whatever. Dimpleton is starving, yeah, I was thinking about that. What can I do about it? I think I need trade. If Dimpleton is starving, I had better, never mind the science, make a vivarium, right? Is there a way to just purchase it? Yeah. There we go. So Dimpleton can now carry on with the laboratory. Because of my amazing energy, it's money, right? Okay. Done. Oh, I can build roads, yes. So if I sit him in there, I can build a road. Route to, yeah. Let's do it. Route to Alpha Tucana, right? Oh, this thing has gone. Right. Now, where's this gunner guy? He's, he's okay. Right. Focus research towards xenoecology, gain an additional exp expedition module, or plus one from labs. I keep not choosing the labs, don't I? But I still want more exploring stuff, so go. I want to build a satellite, or whatever they're called in this game. <laughs> Here we go. A... A, 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 
Well, what are they? They're not there. Look at Combat Rover, Explorer, Gunner, Marine, Cruiser, Cutter, Submarine. Why can I not build a jolly settlement? Isn't that strange? Combat Rover, Explorer. Um, that's interesting. Am I missing a trick here? Question? What are they called? Outposts or something? It's a proto city. A small installation that's placed on the map and acquires territory like a city but which does not yet have the advantages, etc. So how do I build outposts then? Why can I not build an outpost there? That's jolly strange. Units. Civilian units I wanted to be, yes. It's built in cities, each has a production cost. Look at cities then. Outposts I've already read. Construction. <coughs> That's very, very strange. Maybe Alpha Shikana has not got a surplus of food, right? On the bus. Does it? It does have a small surplus. I can't build one, I won't build one, okay? Build some more productive capacity. I can't build one here either, presumably, no. Is this a bug? Has something happened? These are bugs, I know, yes. Let's build a pharma lab. I don't, maybe I need... Some, maybe there's some health requirement or something. I've discovered survivors! Hooray! Oh, and I now have a third thing. A hive mind worm. Who? It allowed human workers to focus on more of a delicate and non-standard task. I'd like to know the history of this because I thought it was just going to continue straight on from a game of Civ. But they clearly have some advanced tech. So, 30 culture. 36 culture. Less production. Oh, production science. And a frontier stadium, which is plus 10 city defense. Military units start with a free promotion. Um, yep. 
jolly good. And now you have explored that thing. Let's come over here and see what's in on this island, I suppose. Or continent, or whatever it is. See? What's that thing? It's a foreign colonist. Yeah, why can't I build colonists all of a sudden? What's going on? I didn't type in colonist, did I, in my query? Let's just have a quick query of colonist. When producing a unit, city's growth temporarily stops. Colonists may be built in cities with at least two citizens. Prerequisite tech pioneering. Ah. I was able to build one for some reason. I got a freebie, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. So I need to research pioneering soon. But in the meantime, I'll build the Frontier Stadium, because it's cheap. Any more of those things that I haven't bothered to look at? Don't see any. Little hard to see on this map, but I don't know. So let's build an ultrasonic fence. Keeps the aliens away a bit. Since they seem to be a bit annoyed with me, or they have been. Hurry. And I found another gadget. And I can develop a virtue. I need three horizontal ones, four vertical or something. That's, well, I, I can go anywhere, can't I, really? Uh, plus three energy from trade routes. I can't build any at the moment, I think. Culture, less culture needed for border expansion. That's one popula population in newly founded cities, quite good. Hmm, plus seven health, I mean, that could be crucial in a bit. 30 science from finishing expeditions, let's do that. Right. Got to boost my science somehow. Oh, expedition up there. Somebody's there. Ain't so. Build a spy agency. I think that's kind of like a tutorial built in, isn't it? Computing. I've got the missile rover, network, and spy agency buildings. Right. I don't know what the network is for. Science. Right. Okay. Ooh, I got to supremacy. Slightly. At least there are bugs in the way here. Everywhere. Simpleton should be growing now because I built, I bought the, the Vivarium, didn't I?
Let's build a Frontier Stadium here as well, I suppose. And Wake Up Explorer, no. Oh, I thought I had a worker in here somewhere. Oh, he's building a road. Well, he was. Where has he gone? Why did, has he been eaten by insects? Apparently so. So, pioneering is a pretty crucial one, right? Let's get it. production network. I want to speed up my science. Our ultrasonic fence, what do we want to do? Extra repel range. Trade convoys will not be attacked by alien units. I think that's a good one. My convoys not be attacked. Thank you. So that's research completed by looks it, so good, I can now build an outpost. Um, a trade depot, hooray! Alright, that was pretty important tech basically, wasn't it? So I think you should build the trade depot, wherever it is. More research. So that's that was just for aquatic ones, wasn't it? Okay. I've built all the inner ring basic techs. If I go out a bit, what do I get? You know, few are xenomass. I have some, do I not? A xeno nursery. Extra, a lot of extra science. Xenomass. Well, I need that one. Okay. Okay, look. Just one more turn, eh? Found some culture. Right. Oh, hello. Uh, how do you do? Right. And... Fine. Whatever. Goodbye. Thank you. More stuff discovered? Okay. Another decision to be made. The automatic repair facility, plus one orbital, orbital coverage, or more production for military units. No idea, really. Let's go for production. And now I'd better save the game, otherwise it's just one more turn again, right? And I'll see you in episode two. <laughs>
No, three even. Goodbye for now. <laughs> right, let's go. Right.